Let's derive the equation for angular displacement, S equals R theta, using a geometrical approach. Consider a circle with a center point O. Select any point on the circumference of the circle, which we'll call point B. Draw a line from the center O to point B. This line represents the radius of the circle and is denoted by R. Now, using a compass, place the sharp needle at point B and measure the distance from B to the center of the circle, O. Using this radius, draw an arc on the circle. Label the point where the arc intersects the circle as point C and connect it to the center point O. The angle theta formed at the center is defined as the ratio between the arc length S and the radius R. This relationship can be expressed as theta equals arc ES divided by radius R. Here, both the arc length S and the radius R are measured in meters, so the units cancel out, leaving theta dimensionless. This is why theta is considered a dimensionless quantity. This ratio of the arc length S to the radius R is measured in radians, where one radian is approximately equal to 57.296 degrees. In this context, the arc length S represents the angular displacement. By rearranging the equation to solve for S, we find S is equal to R multiply theta. This equation shows that the angular displacement S is equal to the radius R multiplied by the angle theta. In summary, we have derived that angular displacement S equal to R theta 